Hello drawers, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw cross contour lines on a cylinder. As always, erase the marks that you don't want and restate the lines that you need. When you're doing this exercise, feel free to orientate that paper into a position that you're comfortable with. Remember these cross contour lines are these imaginary lines that wrap around a form. It's this idea that without values or color, we can still get a general idea of the base uh, of the form. As you see in my demo here, my vertical lines on my cylinders, as they move away from the center of the cylinder, they start to get tighter. Now you're wondering, why are they getting tighter? It's because the cylinder is round. So as it wraps around to the other side, these lines are going to get pinched. They're moving away from you. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to loosely draw my lines first, then go back in and restate the lines that I need, erase the marks that I don't want. The same thing here gets applied to the other side of the cylinder. Once those vertical lines are done on the side of your cylinder, then those lines at the top are going to wrap across the top of the surface and onto the back. By doing this, you're kind of creating this illusion that, hey, here's my cylinder, it's flat at the top, and these lines are gonna overlap and intersect at the center So now that I'm done with my vertical lines, I'm going to draw the cross contour lines that wrap around the side, okay? Most important thing you want to keep in mind when you're doing this is that these horizontal lines should have a curvature that is parallel or reflective of the top uh, cylinder at the top. These horizontal lines should curve or bend at the edge as well. In the past, I'll have students who draw straight lines across, and then you kind of take away the illusion of that round form. So make sure you pay attention to the edge and the curvature. All right, so this is it. I finished my drawing, I go back in, clean the marks that I don't want, restate the lines that I do need, and I'm done. Stay tuned to the next video, how to create cross contours on a sphere.